Which AI denoise model should I use? AI 2.0, AI 3, or AI 3.01? Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you a comparison between the new AI denoise features in Graxpert and if you want to know which AI version should you use, stay until the end of this video. We have here a good signal to noise ratio image. Should we just use 3.01 instead of 3.0? And let's see now here the test. We'll zoom here at 200% so we'll be able to see better the noise or even more, maybe 300 like this. And here we have an image where I use the Glaxpert AI Denoise 3.0. And let's see first how it, it looks without any denoising. So this is the image zoomed as 300%. We can see here noise visible on the Elephant Strang Nebula. And let's enable the AI Denoise 2.0 model first and see the result. And look, you see, we have much less noise. However, it also blurred part of the nebula details. So it's a trade-off when you're removing noise also some faint details might get a little bit blurrier the important part is to get better signal to noise ratio and also keep most of the details we'll move now to version 3.0 with a denoise of 05 and let's compare before after so you see 3.0 actually remove more of the noise but also introduce a little bit more blur now let's check the 3.01 AI result and we have it here. This is a value of 0.5 before, after. So you see, it managed to uh, remove the noise, most of the noise, but also keep much more contrast visible here in the nebula feature. We'll zoom out a little bit. And let's compare 3.01 with 2.0 before after so i can say on this image that has better signal to noise ratio 3.01 is the winner and let's see also other areas here before and now here is just a little bit of an improvement not much and let's go also somewhere else let's see here before now we can see more details here in the faint nebula clouds, especially the dark, dark nebulosity. On this type of images, on some of the images you will use, you can get better results with the 3.0 AI model. If you haven't seen the speed test video, you should check that video also out and see the difference in speed be between these AI models. For example, the AI 2.0, it will denoise this image in about one minute and the uh, AI 3.0, it will denoise it close to 3.5 minutes and the 3.1, it's a little bit faster than 3. And let's check also Messier 63, the Sunflower Galaxy. And here we have an example of a lower signal to noise ratio. We don't have so much integration time. So we have here the image without any denoising. Here we have the AI model 2.0 and we see it removed part of the noise but also increased overall contrast here we have the 3.0 that increased sharpness also in details but also in noise and here 3.0 that again increases the contrast everywhere i'll probably go with the 2.01 on this image with messier 63. now let's see also a globular cluster the Hercules star cluster, Messier 13. Here we have the result with AI 2.0. So let's see without denoising. We have in this case a stronger stretch, so the noise is more visible. And let's apply AI 2.0 denoise of 0.75 strength. And you see it removed a lot of the noise visible. Now let's enable and also zoom in at 100, zoom in more. And let's enable 3.0. So it's 3.0. It sharpens also the stars, but it's unclear which one to keep. Let's see the 
and 3.01 again enhances the noise, increases the contrast also on stars but also on the background noise. Depending on your images, until now I've noticed the more stable version is AI 2.0 that I think you should use it for most of the images and for a good signal to noise ratio you should try also the AI 3.1 and see if you'll get better result. This image was captured with the Sistar S50, a plan I think of 10 minutes to 20, so not a very good signal to noise ratio image. Now let's uh, continue with another image that I captured with the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. Here we have a few hours stack with Andromeda Galaxy. So the signal to noise ratio should be better. And let's zoom in a little bit and check the differences once we apply here the version 3.0 denoise with 0.75 strength. Look, huge difference, right? And let's see 3.01. Actually, 3.01 has a little bit more noise, but I think also the details are sharper. So let's move a little bit to see some of the galaxy structures here and compare. You see 3.0 also enhances more the brightness in the galaxy core. So I will probably go with 3.01. I want to say also that the new AI denoise versions 3.0 and 3.01 were I believe trained more with uh, one-shot color images, broadband or light pollution filters, less narrow band filters or mono cameras. So it will perform better on these images. I've tested the Optolong L Enhance and were good. With a one-shot color camera without filter, they were good. And on Messier 27, I think about 30 minutes integration plan with Optolong L Ultimate filters, 3 nanometers. And we have here a strong narrow band filter. And let's see if it performs good on this image or not. We'll go 100% and check the level of noise. Here we have 2.0. So you see, 2.0 also sharpens the stars and the nebula and also some uh, faint nebula features are more visible that is a plus without uh, without enhancing too much noise in the background the ai 3.0 version will also enhance your background noise so on this image i'll probably just stay with the ai 2.0 version here I've tested also on a monochrome image. I captured Messier 81 and 82 with my TubeTech Astro 2600 KMA IMX 571 sensor, only luminance using the Optolong L Quad Enhanced Filter. And looking at this image, here we have the results with the 2.0. Here is without denoising. Using the denoising, it also seems to sharpen the stars and the galaxies, and even more using the 3.0. So in this case, again, we'll stick to 2.0. So comparing now the 3.01 at 0.9 with a maximum strength of 3.0, we do have some increase of noise and also sharper details. And compare with the 2.0, more visible noise and more contrast to the nebula features. Looking at this test on this uh, lower signal to noise ratio image, I believe 2.0 still might be the best to use if you want to have lower overall noise. Currently, I believe we should use as default the AI 2.0 and use also the 3.01 on images that have better signal to noise ratio. Being able to denoise much faster with 2.0, then you can use the denoise 2.0 feature first and then try it also with 3.01 and if you find the video useful don't forget to like subscribe if you're new if you want to support the channel more you can check also the channel membership where i also share my astrophotography data like uh, this image with ic 1396 the elephant strang nebula 20 hours integration that you can download it and process it yourself or also Messier 78 that I captured in high details at 1650 mm focal length. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you soon in the next video.
Until next time, clear sky.